yeah, to everybody and hope all of you are doing great. Okay, let's turn in one verse a bit for our devotion this morning from Psalm 50 and verse 23. It says, whoever offers praise glorifies me. What an amazing verse that is. Let's begin in prayer. Father, we just thank you for this beautiful morning. Bless everybody who hears these devotions. Father, I just pray that you would minister to us, Lord, your truths about everything in the Bible. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you today. In Jesus' name, we pray. So this morning, for a short time, I was thinking about the importance of praise in a believer's life. Bible says in Psalm 50 verse 3 that verse 23 that God is glorified because of our praises. And I like that, isn't it? One of the reasons that God put us on this earth to praise him. It says that even the angels and the creation praise the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everyone that has breath praise the Lord. I was thinking, I was thinking so important as believers. To praise God in, in our lives. Praise need to be in our mouths. How often thanks and praise giving like puts puts so much of uh, like uh, chaos out of our lives. I think Apostle Paul understood the importance of praise than anybody else in the Bible. In fact, uh, whether he was in the storm in Acts chapter 27, whether, whether he was in, in a dungeon in the prison writing the epistles, he had the spirit of joy of the Lord and he also praised the Lord in the midst of it. And such was the incident in Acts chapter 16 where Paul and Silas, okay, Paul and Silas were preaching out in, 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 in Acts chapter 16 and uh, because of the preaching they have been beaten up and they are put in the prison. Imagine, imagine the scene for this for a moment, you know, and uh, for all that uh, they did for the Lord. And right now they are in the prison, all beaten up, they are on the stocks and, and, and looking upwards, they can't move anywhere. And I think it's a common phenomenon is to like complain about it, like what has happened to me. Even sometimes question God, why I am here, because I worshipped you, I served you, I am in your plan and this is happening to me. But the third thing that can happen for Paul and Silas is to have a pity party about what has happened. But instead, they go beyond that because they understood that they are in the purpose of God. And one of the purposes is to praise God in the midst of everything that they go through in life. So Paul instead, they, he stood up to praise the Lord in the midst of what they are in. I will just put a few things. What happens when praise is in our mouth? Like when you praise God... Three things that, that are so evident that happens that we see in the story and also in our lives we have experienced that. Number one, when, when we praise God, like Apostle Paul and Silas forgot their pain, forgot the situation because they inhabit, they, they, they seen God in the picture of the praises. It's amazing. God inhabits the praises. Psalm 22 verse 3 says, like, like Paul and Silas were singing, the pain was no more seen. The situation was out of the picture because all they could see is praising God. That's what happened to the three Hebrew boys when they were in furnace. They, they kept God as number one and they were praising in the midst of it. And they could see the fourth man. They, they didn't care about the fire around them. They didn't care the Babylonians shouting, but they could only occupied with the glory of God. And that's what happened in our praises because Psalm 22, 3 says, God inhabits our praises. It's beautiful when we praise God, God comes into it. Bible also says, when two or three gather in my name, I am there. And he loves to be in our midst. And that's what happened in the story that they were praising God. Secondly, praise does a miracle. Like, like praise always does a miracle. In, Je in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Jehoshaphat, God commanded him to take his worship team for the battle. And we know the end of the story. They came back praising God after the victory. I think praise brings miracles. In this, in this prison, there was a miracle. There was an earthquake. And we know the story, what happened. Like, uh, like the, the in charge of the prisoner, God thought that he, he, he couldn't save any prisoners. He was ready to kill himself. But Paul and Silas come to his rescue. 
And what's amazing is in the midst of this, like when we praise God, miracles happen. Like, like our attitude in the situations bring miracles to happen. And thirdly, also praise brings salvation. In the midst of all that was happening, because of the praises and the attitude, the jailer and his own household got saved. Did you ever imagined like Paul had no idea what God can do when we praise in the midst of that, what has happened that night, he goes that night and baptizes the whole home and the whole family comes to know the Lord. So praise brings salvation. When we praise God, people are watching our lives. They see who is this person who could praise God in the midst of in his situations, in his trials, in his, in his circumstances. So this morning as we, as we begin our week ahead, you know, maybe you have problems in our life as we all have situations in our lives. Maybe you are upset with things in your life. You know what? Either I could just have a pity party about it or I could be just complaining about it or even questioning God about those questions. I could do that part of it or I can say I just leave that aside and I'm going to praise God for everything that he has given to me. I would praise God for who he is and that's the purpose God put us here. And I could say, you know what? No matter what my situation is, I'm going to praise God because God is going to turn that situation. And number two, anything can happen when there's praise. And thirdly, praise can touch somebody's life. Nobody reads the four Gospels, but our life has been read and our attitude in the situations has been watched by people and they would see who is this man or who is this woman who could worship God in the midst of the situation. So let's praise God. Let's be in our mouths praising God. And it's because why? One final reason is Psalm 50 verse 23 says, Whoever praises the Lord glorifies Him. Amen. Amen.